Hello, so uh, my grandfather started this business in 1946. He came here after World War II. Um, it was my great-great-grandfather that actually purchased the land, but he's the one who converted it into a trading post. He cut the trails. He converted this, which was a dance hall and a saloon in the uh -huh. 30s. This, if you look down uh, that section over there where the uh, display cases are, you can see on the ground where the bar stools were. See those circles? Oh yeah. So this was the bar. And so they came, converted this half into a trading post, and then the other half they lived in. Um, there was, that was my, the museum room was actually my mom's bedroom oh, <laughs> growing really? up. And so, yeah, it was slow living. They didn't have no water, electricity. There weren't even roads out here in the oh 40s God. and 50s. So, you know, they had to rough it, but um, slowly, and even in those days, they didn't think of New Mexico as a tourism state. Think about that. Yeah. Like, he's in the Tourism Hall of Fame in New Mexico now because everyone thought he was crazy. Like, There's no tourism in New Mexico. What are you doing? <laughs> but well, how now, do you, how do you cut the trail? A bulldozer and a lot of time really? and patience, I imagine. Oh yeah. My God. I mean, there might have been more heavy equipment, but as far as I know. Thanks. Have a good one. So yeah, they 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 did what they had to do, and you know, they built these cabins uh, for hunters and stuff back in the day. And, Okay, and, and now uh, you're taking over? Or? And he passed away in 2012, I think it was, and my mom and her sisters took over. Oh, okay. So, so is she still here? Yep, she's right here. Oh, that's your mom right there? That's my mom right there. She's Hi. The, Hi, mom. Her and her younger sister, Betsy, are the uh, owners now, and um, we're just trying to keep it the way it is and keep showing it to people and, you know. Well, some movies. I don't know how good I look today. But... Oh, you look great. You look just like your picture in there. <laughs> that is you? Yeah. Yeah, that's her. She doesn't change. Wow. <laughs> so you said you rode up with your dad? Uh, my dad would drive the tractor and I'd get on the tractor with him. Yeah. And was he it? would uh, plow the roads and do the trails. And... There wasn't anything up here. What? There wasn't anything up here. Well, when he got here, this was being used as a dance hall and saloon. <laughs> no blaming all of that. Yeah, you're just getting up my shot. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, oh. and um, there was no electricity or water. Um, he had to get Continental Divide, which is our electric co-op, to bring the electricity out here. Well, they did. And then he had to uh, haul the water. He hauled the water. We used the outhouse forever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I bet you enjoyed it as a kid though, didn't well, you? Well, I didn't know any different, you know, so it didn't bother me. <laughs> okay. But, um, you know, people that came here would say, how did you live like that? But yeah. Yeah, as I, a kid, if you're raised, you I know, just didn't know anything yeah. different. Yeah. 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 So good. it felt normal to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much. Very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Had a good time.